Hi there, my name is Alana, and today we're going to be putting together this absolutely beautiful pink Charlotte Tilbury makeup look. Now, nearly all of the products I'm using in this look are from Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk line. I have eight different Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk products that we're going to be using to put together this look, plus a few other supporting cast members. Now, those eight Pillow Talk products that I'm using don't even scratch the surface of all of the Pillow Talk products that exist in the Charlotte Tilbury universe. In addition to what I'm using, there's a deeper version of the blush, there's two deeper versions of the lipstick, there's a deeper lip liner, there's an eyeliner, there, there are other products, okay? I had to narrow down what Pillow Talk products I'd be using to create this look. But I decided to air generally in her classic Pillow Talk products, but with a few unexpected ones that you might not have seen before. So without any further ado, let's put on my makeup, and then of course we're gonna talk about it. So I've prepped my skin with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, and I'm gonna be using Hollywood Flawless Filter as my primer today. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation. Now, if you are curious about her Airbrush Flawless Foundation, I do have another full face of Charlotte Tilbury video which I'm going to leave linked down below. But today we are using Magic and I have shade Too Fair. So I've gone in with a little bit on my hand there. I'm just going to tap it around my face. And I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender today, which I'm going to just wet with this Juave. Uh, face water. Now, Charlotte does have a concealer that I really enjoy, which I did use in my last Full Face of Charlotte video. However, in that video, I actually used it all up. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer to just add a little bit more coverage under my eyes. I uh, do intend on repurchasing that Charlotte concealer, but I just have so much concealer and so much makeup in general that it's hard to justify repurchasing it right now, but maybe on the Sephora sale or something like that. I'm just going to... And then I always like to use the Boeing Airbrush Concealer by Benefit on my lids just to cancel some of that redness in there. So we're just gonna pop some of that on and finish off with the Beauty Blender and then we are gonna get into all of the Pillow Talk products. Okay, so my brows are on. I've put a clear lip balm on my lips just to moisturize them until it is time to do our lipstick. So, going to kick it off with my airbrush bronzer just to give a little bit more definition to the face. Okay, so our first Pillow Talk product that we're going to use today is the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Quad. Now I'm gonna leave a link down below to a video I did where I ranked all of my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads. I have 22 of them, or I have 22 palettes, I should say, included some palettes. And this one ranked really low. And so it is definitely not one of my favorite Charlotte eyeshadow palettes. It's pretty, it's cute for daytime, and we're gonna make it we're gonna make it all work today. But there are just so many of her eyeshadow palettes that I just, I like more. Starting off with the Prime shade, which is just a really pretty, soft sort of pink. So we're gonna be using this matte pink shade as our transition. Now, you may wonder, why don't I like the Pillow Talk eyeshadow quad? And the reason I don't like it is it pulls really orangey coral on me. I think it's more flattering on other complexions. 
but I just find for me that I'm just really fair and it just pulls really, really orangey coral on me. However, it does give a very pretty understated daytime look and so so now we are going to go in with this darker matte shade and we're going to deepen out our crease i'm just using the same same brush charlotte's looks really are just about really soft pretty kind of blown out looks so and thankfully that is my favorite kind of makeup too probably why i am such a charlotte just fanatic but we're gonna add a little more in here I'm going to use that same darker shade, same brush, pinch the brush so we can just bring a little bit of it under our eyes here, just to help finish that look off. Then we're going to take this clean blending brush and just blend things in a bit. Now one thing I'm gonna do before the next step, I'm gonna go back to this prime shade and just bring it into that inner corner of the eye and just pop it under the brow just one more time. Just give it that little bit more shimmer. So I'm going to skip the pop shade over here. I hate the pop shade in the Pillow Talk palette. It's got hard pan on me really quickly, doesn't pack a punch, but Possibly one of my favorite products under the Pillow Talk line is this Jewel Pot. So we're actually gonna use that as our shimmer today, just using our finger. To me, it just pops so much more of a sparkle and is something really, really pretty and special. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see the shimmer. I hope that comes across on camera, just how pretty that is. So I'm gonna quickly do my winged liner with my Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. I'm gonna do my waterline using one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners, and that is the Classic Eye Powder Pencil. Tight lining is one of my biggest tips if you want to just really have that impact on your eyes with your mascara and your eyeliner. Just it, to me, it just adds so much volume in and it's just such a subtle little trick, but to me, total game changer. Our next product is a Pillow Talk product and this is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. This is Charlotte's newest mascara and has a really interesting paddle shaped brush. So you sort of use one side of it to paint on the mascara and then the other side to just sort of fan it out and give it that just mm. So for our highlighter, we're going to be going in with the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. And what you definitely want to make sure you do is twist it shut. Going back in with our Beauty Blender, we're going to kind of wrap this around the curve on our face there. that really soft kind of candle lit glow. Now we will be coming back to the cream highlighter, but first we're gonna pop in with our Pillow Talk blush. I'm gonna start by taking my blush brush and focusing on the outer rim here, tapping it off a little bit. And then we're gonna blend it sort of back in the direction that we put the highlighter. Now with this blush, after we've done that first layer, we're then going to just sort of tap it around and get a little bit of all of the blush colors and then I'm going to take my beauty blender to just help diffuse that just a little bit. Now if we didn't have the beauty light wand, you could use this center shade here as the highlighter, but I want to show you a couple of different Charlotte kind of Pillow Talk products. So we're gonna go back in with the highlighter on the pointy end of our view blender and just tap it on top one more time just to really get that glow. Okay, and now for our lips, of course we are going in with the Pillow Talk lip liner. And I should just say, this is the lip liner that started all of this. It basically launched an empire for Charlotte. Like this, she managed to take a really pretty lip liner and make it into a billion dollar business. Like, I'm sorry, I, I just think that's really cool. So 
So we have the lip liner on. We're gonna go in with, of course, the Pillow Talk lipstick. And then we're gonna top it off with one of my absolute favorite products in the Pillow Talk category. And that is the Lip Jewel in Pillow Talk. This is just a really pretty lip gloss that has a touch of shimmer to it. And there's the look. So let's just take this out of my hair. Okay, so here is the look. I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out. And I think it pairs really nicely with these soft, romantic, wavy curls. So we did use eight different Pillow Talk products, plus a few other products from Charlotte and a couple non-Charlotte products. But in my defense, one of the non-Charlotte products I used was concealer, and I used to have the Magic Concealer, but it uh, I finished it up actually the last time I did a full face of Charlotte Tilbury for YouTube, and I haven't replaced it yet. Because one, stores where I live literally opened four days ago, and two, I have buckets of concealer, so anyways. That was one of the products. The other product uh, that I used that was not Charlotte Tilbury was a Tom Ford eyeliner, but I consider Tom Ford to be in Charlotte's universe because Charlotte was the, I believe it was the makeup director, but she did work in the Tom Ford makeup department um, on the kind of the back, like executive end for a while. So I like to think of Tom as like her proverbial makeup cousin. So a quick chat about some of the products that we used. I've mentioned this before in my videos, but the Pillow Talk Luxury Quad is not one of my favorite products. Now, do I think it's pretty? Do I think it looks pretty on me right now? Yes, it's pink and it's by Charlotte Tilbury. Of course it is gorgeous. However, on my complexion and my skin tone, I find that it actually tends to pull a little bit coral, a little bit orange, and not the dusty pink that we would come to expect in the Charlotte universe. So, I like this on me. However, I do want you to watch my ranking by Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes and quads video where I rank and try on all 22 of my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes and quads and you'll see this one ranks pretty low but you're gonna see the product that I consider to be the pillow talk alternative for my complexion ranks super high. So that's just a little note on that. As for the blush, I think the blush is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of my favorite Pillow Talk products, and I do wear it quite frequently. However, my two favorite Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk products are the Shimmery Lip Gloss and the Jewel Pop. I just find the shimmer that the Jewel Pop gives on my eye incredible, I'm wearing it right now, and the lip gloss, so comfortable, so wearable, just beautiful. I. I like the regular Pillow Talk lip gloss too, but I wanted to feature this one because I just love it so much and I didn't think I would love it when I first got it. As for the lipstick and lip liner, these are iconic. However, I prefer the iconic nude lip liner from Charlotte. And when it comes to the lipstick, there are just so many other sort of pinky nude for me lipsticks that Charlotte offers. And I find this one pulls a little too brown for my liking, which is why I wanted to soften it with the lip gloss. The Pillow Talk Mascara is new, very pretty, super voluminous, a fantastic newer launch from Charlotte. And her Beauty Light wands are iconic for a reason. I mean, look at that soft candle lit from within glow. So those are the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk products that we're wearing today. I also wanted to really quickly mention the Magic Foundation and the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So my understanding is that Magic Foundation is being pulled from Sephora stores in favor of her newer airbrush foundation. Now the airbrush foundation is very nice. It's fuller coverage. This one is more like, like a, a medium, like a buildable medium coverage. I sort of did two layers to get that more YouTube friendly, camera friendly look, but really a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I've actually gone through two or three bottles of this. Um, and as you can see, this bottle is like pretty empty, has seen better days. So I really do think the Magic Foundation, beautiful coverage, beautiful sort of work appropriate, event appropriate, especially if you don't like super full coverage looks, you might really enjoy this. And then of course, the Flawless Filter. We use that as our primer today to just give everything that candlelit glow. So I hope you enjoy this look. Um, behind me, you might, uh, if you know, you know, 
you're gonna see something that we're gonna be unboxing later this week and I'm actually gonna be filming right now but I have this video a couple other Charlotte videos I'm gonna be filming in this look so I wanted to get this video up early this week so that way I could reference back to it and tell you guys how I did my makeup but I'm super happy with how it turned out I mean Charlotte Tilbury turned a lip liner into a collection I mean she really turned a lip liner into a billion dollar empire. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe here at Classy on the Run. We love talking about beautiful hair, beautiful makeup. If we weren't in a global pandemic, I would tell you about beautiful places to travel. And I am a huge Charlotte Tilbury enthusiast. You could call me a Charlotte Tilbury fanatic, addict, fangirl, many words to describe the obsession I have with Charlotte Tilbury products. I'm gonna leave some other videos linked down below that sort of go through my collection if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.